Hey guys, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder of Slackter Sub. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you are new here to get all the upcoming innovative updates on Slackter Sub, Test Case Studio, or any new tool from my end. Thank you. Great. So, quick tutorial about Slackter Sub with all the latest feature. This tutorial I am creating with version 4.1.5. If you want to learn all the features in very detail, I will leave the description in the link. Uh, I will leave the link in the description. So please go through that. Thank you. So very first thing, what is Selectors Hub? Selectors Hub is a next-gen XPath and CSS selector tool. It can here you can build your own XPath and CSS selector within five seconds with the with the drop auto drop down feature of uh, auto suggestion feature of Selectors Hub. It supports all possible kinds of selectors. It generates all possible kinds of selector for the inspected element. It supports shadow DOM, iframe, nested iframe, SVG element, dynamic element, dynamic invisible elements. Debugger feature is there. In a, error handling is there. Every possible things related to selectors of DOM. It will help you to learn all kinds of concepts and it will save huge amount of time. So without wasting any time, let's quickly start with this one. For whichever browser you want to install, you can get the download link here from the selectorsub.com homepage. Like uh, for Chrome, we want, let's say, we'll take a demo on Chrome. So click on this Chrome download button here. It will take you to the uh, Chrome store. Here you can click add to Chrome to add it to your browser, add extension, add extension. This is absolutely safe and secure. Here you can see that this runs offline and here you can read the privacy policy after adding it to your browser here you will see that selector sub logo is not there on right top corner so for that you will have to click on this default extension logo click on then and then pin it to toolbar here you will get the important information like telegram group link all so this you can join if you need any help slack channel and all after installing do not try selector sub on the browser store none of the extension works on browser store and not on the blank tab always you are supposed to open google.com or any web application the url should not be blank here okay after uh, installing selector sub please open a website or in a new tab or restart your browser so let's say you want to try on google.com so open google.com here this should not be blank and then right click where you will find this selector sub let's see click on inspect here and here on the left side you will see the element stock tab dom here and on the right side you will see selector sub will be the last tab now here this is how selector sub will open here now if you want to uh, see here okay before starting using selector sub it, it is asking you to fill this information here request you please click here so that next time this pop-up will not come here once you fill this information so please fill the correct information this will help you help me to serve you guys better so that is the reason Okay, now coming back to here, this is the default view of selector sub. As soon as you will open, it will open in this mode here, and this will be the default view of selector sub. Here, what all things are there, I will explain you that this is the editor bar here, and these are the auto generated selector it is showing here. So, as soon as you open selector sub, it shows you all the possible generated selector here for the currently inspected element like this element is inspected so it is showing all the possible generated selector here like you inspect any other element here like this way so it will show you it will automatically generate all possible selectors so this is relative css selector relative xpath index space xpath jquery jspath all those things it shows here so this makes you very easy things and then there are like lots of feature here these buttons each and every button has huge huge value and saves a tremendous amount of time i will explain you good so how can we write our own xpath suppose you want to write xpath for this element your own xpath so how you can start writing here you can build your own xpath like you just start typing it will auto suggest a <laughs> each and everything here like here you type open square bracket it will suggest you all possible combinations of your attribute and attribute value so here you can quickly build your own xpath let's say you want to write with the like area label or search anything you want you just start typing and you can select it here and build your xpath and verify it here if you want to add end condition and then you want to write like something like this you can add end condition or condition each and everything you can do it here if you will make any mistake in your xpath selector sub will help you to let uh, understand that what is missing in your xpath what is wrong in your xpath that you can immediately fix what is possible what is not possible it will help you to learn all those things if you will be doing anything wrong here this will help you then uh, suppose you have written any xpath here like this you have written and you want uh, want to make any changes or anything and you want or suppose you want to write a new xpath 
and you want to save this xpath in selector sub itself you can save it you need not to copy and paste somewhere in other editor right here click on this plus plus icon and this value will be saved here in selector sub and anytime you want to access click on this button here your value is saved and you can save maximum 10 values here like you want to save this value click here and this value is saved whenever you want to edit it again you can click on and it will come here so this way you can write and verify save value in selector sub and build your xpath and css selector here quickly here maximum 10 value will be saved if you will try to save 11th value it will delete the uh, oldest one and then save the latest one here suppose you want to write a css selector for an element inspected element you just start typing it will start suggesting the css selector it understands selector sub understand whether you are typing css selector or xpath so it will accordingly it will start suggesting so you it starts showing you the options here accordingly and you can build your xpath and css selector and verify that whatever number of count that will it, it will show here like this also it will uh, if you just like currently it is in editor mode and auto generated mode you just want to use it in editor mode so in that case you can keep it off here you can turn off these auto suggestion and everything you just if you want to just use it as an editor you can use it as an editor by clicking here so this way like when you will verify like suppose you want to verify all the links in this page so you just hit double forward slash a here it will show you all links in this page like 36 links are there and what all those links are there it is it has listed down here all of them so you need not to like look in the dom up and down and which all 36 links are there and in fact like if you verify this 35 uh, double forward slash a here in dev2 so you will get 75 count why because it is showing a string match as well so which is not the correct count of link in this page so that's another advantage of selectors up that selectors up give you the correct information about your x path and selectors so there are 35 six link 36 link which are those 36 link these are the 36 links here listed down if you hover on them it will highlight here in the web page so you see the very first matching node it will show you highlight in yellow dashed line rest all it will show you in blue color line if you hover in these uh, hover on these uh, element which are listed here in selectors up it will change the, the, like this is my current uh, my hover is on this element currently on the first one so it is highlighting that gmail in red color in the ui so this way we can understand okay this anchor tag is for this gmail likewise if you hover on other elements it will keep highlighting those one whichever will be that one <clears throat> also it adds the xpath attribute in the dom node so that you can understand okay this is the first matching node xpath 2 is this means that this is the second matching node this is third matching node so it will also help you to uh, like understand that which this is the second matching node for this xpath so likewise if you will be verifying css it will add css in attribute in your matching node so that way you can understand what is the occurrence of this element for this particular xpath or css selector in this page so this is really helpful do not use this xpath or css attribute while writing xpath in selector sub that has been added by selector sub okay and if your element will be like this element is hidden somewhere if you will press enter the very first matching element ma matching element it will scroll to the viewable area so suppose this gmail is hidden somewhere you see that if you will press enter it will scroll to the viewable area now we can see it yeah. even if you hover on this then also it will scroll to the viewable area so this is how you can use the editor this is really cool and very useful now uh, so we have seen this plus button editor here and then this <coughs> this toggle as well like if you just want to use it as an editor you can use selectors up as a to verify your js path and jquery as well like this is your jquery so if you want to verify this one you just hit enter you can verify your jquery you can write your jquery here in selectors up and verify if you want to verify js path like document dot query selector that also you can verify cool it is now uh, suppose here okay we have seen these three button we have seen the value of this one suppose you are typing this x path here and when it is giving you these auto drop down suggestion you don't want to see these auto drop down values uh, and you want to work like that uh, by yourself only so in that case you want if you don't want to see this you can turn off this toggle and then you now you can type it it will not show you those auto drop down and you can complete your x path like by yourself but if you want to see you can click on click back again
then uh, these auto generated selector if you want to copy or edit them so how you can copy you can click on this copy icon or you can click anywhere here in the header to copy this css selector or xpath you can directly copy this one and use it in your script if you want to edit any of these value like let's say you want to edit this one you just click on this it will copy and paste here in the box so that you can edit and verify right there when you will verify value here in selector sub so suppose you have an x path and you want to convert that into css selector like you have right click and let's say copy this x path and you want to convert that into css selector you just paste that x path and press enter selector sub will show this ss selector which is a css selector for your x path so this way you can get this convert your x path into css selector as well okay now what is this uh, this thing this is the attribute filter like suppose this is currently generating like this is currently generating with text here and you doesn't want to generate x path with text so you can uncheck this it will generate without text so likewise if any element for any element x path is uh, this x path is generated with some element and you doesn't want to generate with that so in that case you can either pass the attribute name here so that will be like the highest priority if you will pass any attribute name here so let's say you want to generate with area label so here if you will pass any attribute name then it will generate with that attribute that will be the highest priority otherwise let's say it is generating with area label or any attribute like class or something you can uncheck that it will generate without class so likewise you can choose with whatever attribute with whatever uh, element you want to generate x path for any element it will generate accordingly and if your class and id will be dynamic it will suggest you in alert icon that this is dynamic so to, uh, you can uncheck that or whatever it will suggest that but that thing so you can hover and learn about that if you want to learn more about this feature you can just click on here for each and every feature there's a tutorial has been added with that particular feature so you can watch that click here it will take you to the uh, selectors of youtube channel so you can watch that and uh, anytime you can understand more about the, those features here in selectors of youtube channel okay yeah so this is the attribute filter feature which you can use to generate x path or uh, css selector as per your uh, attribute <clears throat> if you doesn't want to see this one you can hide as well now currently you see that when you are generating selector for any element it is generating by this so this way you can copy this and you can paste it in your script but what if you want to this complete command so you can get this complete command as well copy this command there's a command feature click on this you can paste this command wherever you have written x path replace that with x path value here and hit enter we got the complete command now you click on copy and paste it here you see that now we need not to type that as well if you are using cypress or something else so what you do need to do like replace this with cy.get and wherever you have written css selector replace that with x path value and hit enter you got this css selector command so if you are writing cypress then you can use this way if you are using something else like page object model like this add find by etc so you can use that as well here you just paste that and uh, wherever you have written that x path replace that with x path value and hit enter you will get that that command as well so anything is possible here so you got the command now currently you are writing and generating selectors one by one suppose you have a page and for multiple elements you want to generate selectors in single sort so how you can do that you can do that as well and you can generate in fact the complete locator page as well so how that is possible <clears throat> so here you just click on this uh, click to generate automation code click on this and here you start inspecting your elements so like this one test case studio training you want all these headers so you just keep inspecting and you will see in selectors of all possible selectors are generated here and everything will be generated okay so suppose you want to uh, get the code because you got currently x path css selector everything so you can copy this and use it in your script or wherever you want like paste it but what if like you want the complete command code like locator page let's say you want to generate so click on this command feature here you can pass this complete command like this way so you can generate the complete locator page so you see observe this wherever you have written x path in this command replace that with x path value and wherever you have written the selector name replace that with selector name this one you can also watch the detailed tutorial for this feature only if you want there is a link here just click on this and you can watch that and now if you copy this and paste it in your editor you will see that complete locator page is generated for that
and this way you can see your locator page is complete ready so you can just generate your locator page as well with the help of selectors up it could be anything for uh, for you like suppose you doesn't want this uh, complete locator page like this way you just want the xpath you can click and copy all the xpath like this if you want with driver.find element command you can uh, replace this command with driver.find element as well and you can verify cool if you want to inspect any element uh, which is a dynamic element let's say some in some of the website you are not able to inspect the element they are like very much dynamic dynamic drop down let's say if you type bengaluru here and you want to inspect this one but if you will right click they will immediately disappear so how you can inspect such kind of elements selectors have provide you a debugger feature which you can use to inspect such kind of dynamic elements so what you can do open selector sub there's a debugger button click on this debugger button and now within five seconds make your element visible so this is the element we have made it visible and now you see that within five seconds selector sub will hold that now if you inspect this you would be able to generate and write the selector for that particular inspect inspected element like for bengaluru if you inspect you see that we are able to inspect as well as we are able to generate the selectors so this way it will help you to uh, auto generate x path and inspect such kind of dynamic element also there are certain kinds of dynamic elements like this uh, on twitter you see that these loaders you will not be able to inspect these loaders here you can also follow me on twitter if you haven't followed me yet so uh, <coughs> here open selector sub now how can we verify this kind of draw, uh, uh, this kind of spin loader which immediately disappear because uh, you cannot you can after in starting the debugger we cannot refresh the page so these kind of debugger appears after refreshing the page so what we can do here you can like this here we have to immediately start it so what you can do you can set the time as well like you can change the time debugger time as well like in here click on this setting button and you can change this 5 to 0 and now what you can do go back refresh the page and immediately start the debugger and you see that selector sub has hold these spin loaders so you can inspect these spin loader as well and generate the x pass selectors for them so this is how you can inspect such kind of uh, a spin loader as well and once you are done you can click on this execute feature and i would request you if you want to learn more about this debugger feature please check out the detailed tutorial about debugger feature in, in the channel so these these this way you can inspect such kind of dynamic drop downs and dynamic spin loader as well cool <clears throat> so here we have the selectors of uh, xpath practice page as well now so here if you want anything any kind of scenario you can just uh, come to this page and you will find most of the scenarios and you can write generate selectors and practice here okay so we have seen the debugger feature now a smart maintenance feature suppose you have thousands of xpath and you want to verify them so click on this smart maintenance feature there's a click to paste all xpath click on this button and you see that now we have this feature this is the only tool like where you can verify all the xpath like these many xpaths you have thousands of xpath it could be you just paste all these xpath here and click on submit it will show you all matching notes and everything here so this way you can verify all your xpath okay but this is fine what about like if i have this kind of a script and i want to verify all my script complete script in single sort so you need not to worry copy your complete script without segregating without separating xpath and all click on this edit button paste your xpath oh sorry paste your complete script no need to remove this import and all statement turn on this command feature here and pass the command here whatever your xpath command is so here your xpath command is driver dot find element by dot xpath and paste this uh, command here and wherever xpath is written replace that with xpath value and just submit so you see that it is showing all matching nodes here so this way you would be able to verify all your xpath in single shot from your script so this is really cool and very helpful feature <clears throat> moving on you can also watch the detailed tutorial here and you see that you can copy all you can export likewise same way in the multi or uh, when you were when we were generating multiple xpath here also you can export you can copy all you can delete everything is there so please watch this video tutorial for all the detailed features 
okay going back to this one suppose by default selectors hub generate x path in css selector with single code so in any situation when you want to generate x path in css selector with double code so what you can do click on this button it will generate x path and css selector with double code so whenever you have that kind of situation where you want to generate x path in css selector with double code so that is also possible if you want single code again click back here yeah some kind of framework like playwright they supports double code so that's the reason we have this feature so it will be helpful what is this expansion button like currently when you will inspect any element selectors will generate all possible selectors for them right but the problem is like we have to scroll to see all of them can we see all them in single sort yes here is a button click on this it will expand and now you can see all all possible generated selectors up front so this will help you now you whenever you will inspect any element you will get to know that these are the possible selector for this particular element so it will be easy for you to understand now uh, in many situation there will be like many people who use just x path and css selector doesn't want to use other selector doesn't want to see all these uh, so many selectors generated here so in that case can we hide them yes you can hide them whatever you doesn't want to see you can hide them just click on this click to customize ui button here click on this and now you see that here you can customize all these things like let's say you doesn't want to see this tag name absolute text path partial link text link text name class name you don't want to see whatever like js path jquery is not required i'm working on you doesn't want to ss selector you don't want to see these toggles so you can hide these toggle you don't want to see this uh button you can hide this button so everything you can hide and this way you can have a very neat and clean simple ui of selectors up so you see now this is very simple and whichever whichever selectors you want to see that, that you can see it here and next time when you will open selectors up it will open with your view whatever view you will set it here so this is very easy and very good for you like you just inspect any element so you are having a very neat and clean ui now whenever you want to reset like so many settings we have done if you want to reset them so like you don't remember what all changes i have done and i want to see select yourself in the default view you can click here in the this button this last button which is a reset all settings to the default click on this it will set select yourself to the default settings so this way you can make it the best use of select yourself great now one more amazing incredible features of selector sub which will make you excited like suppose you want to generate the access base x path with respect to some other element for an element so suppose here you want to generate x path for training with respect to test case studio for certification with respect to training so how you can do that so here is an click on access button here and inspect the parent first inspect that element with respect to which you want to generate so here we want to generate with respect to test case studio so inspect this first then inspect the training we want to generate x path for training so then inspect this so here it will generate the x path for that particular element suppose we want to generate for certification with respect to by recording so first we will inspect the by recordings and then we will inspect the certification so here it will generate for that particular element so this way you can generate the selectors for an element with respect to other element if you want to watch uh, learn more about this feature in detail you can watch the tutorial here you can click on copy here to copy this x path this is the last one like it keep the history so that like you don't miss anything so this way you can generate x path for any uh, access base x path as well in selectors hub so this is really cool feature here apart from this selectors hub also supports shadow dom if any element is inside shadow dom it will immediately let you know that this element is inside shadow dom like you inspect this it will help you that okay this element is inside sh shadow dom it gives you the complete script so you did not to waste time to uh, find out the host element and you need not to uh, waste time to write the complete script you just click on this button go back to your editor and paste your script and execute it so this way you can watch uh, like quickly uh, build your script for shadow dom elements as well you need not to waste any time you can uh, like verify your css selector here very easily if you will write x path or any mistake you will do here it will tell you that x path doesn't support uh, shadow dom so you will learn as well and as well as you can read this alert message as well and you will learn about this concept also if you want to learn these concepts like shadow dom iframe svg etc you just uh, you can learn more take this training here this is where i teach the live training about all the x path selectors 
all possible things and dom web elements everything i used to teach in this training so please do check out this one this will really help you this is a one week training program all like latest of batch details everything you will find it here and if timings etc doesn't suit you you can also buy the recordings as well from here and this training program really help you guys a lot to at least improve your product productivity by 50 percent at least okay so here like we were talking about the shadow dom so we have seen that selectors of support shadow dom as well if your element will be inside uh, multiple shadow dom like nested shadow doms are there then also selector sub will let you know that how many shadow doms are there like here this element is inside two nested shadow doms so selector sub is telling you that this element is inside two nested shadow dom and what are those host uh, selectors everything it tells you so very helpful for you if an element which, which is inside shadow dom and if it is an svg element that also it will suggest you like this is an svg element and it's uh, it is inside shadow dom so that also support selector sub supports if your element is inside uh, iframe then also selector sub will let you know that this element is inside iframe like ju just inspect the element it will also tell you give you the iframe x path as well as the all possible selectors for the inspected element so this way it will be very easy you need not to waste time to write the iframe x path and all if your element is inside multiple iframe just inspect the element it will tell you how many iframes are there like it is telling you that two I nested iframes are there so first you in switch inside this iframe then this iframe and then perform the action on that particular element so it makes your life very easy and saves a huge amount of time if any element is svg element it will tell you upfront that this is svg element and so you need not to take uh, you need to take extra care for that particular element so like you will not waste time it will tell you that this is a svg element and it doesn't support standard x path format so that also you will learn because if you will write double forward slash svg this is an invalid x path and in fact your dev tools also generate the invalid x path for in case of svg element like if i paste the x path which i have copied from dev tools you see that it has generated invalid if you start typing it will suggest you what is the right format for svg elements so that you can build here so it's quite helpful to learn the concepts about these things if any element iframe svg it all those things it supports it also let you know that if your element is inside shadow dom and inside iframe like it also supports shadow dom inside iframe so you let's say inspect this element so it tells you that this is inside iframe also it is telling that this element is inside shadow dom it doesn't support shadow dom element doesn't support x pass so all those things you will understand you will learn from here so that will be very easy so first it is telling you that this is inside iframe so first you will switch inside iframe then it is telling you that it is inside shadow dom then you will handle through shadow dom script so all those things will be very possible otherwise it will take whole day for you to uh, learn about these concepts and if you want to learn more such concepts how these things work join my training that will help you so we have seen this one now uh, there will be some elements like which is not interactable uh, which we cannot ex we cannot perform the actions so those kind of for those kind of elements as well selectors of will help you upfront like you will not have to hit and try and waste your time by writing the selectors for them those those kind of elements so there are some elements which for which uh, selenium and automation frameworks used to give the uh, non interactable element exception so those are the elements which are not having any clickable area in the ui so earlier people used to write the xpath because for these kind of element you can write the xpath and we verify that that is correct but you cannot you write the you cannot automate this element because this doesn't have any clickable area in the ui so for that reason selector sub will tell you upfront that this element is not interactable through selenium automation as it is not visible in ui try any nearby element so this will help you to uh, selector sub will give you upfront information so that you will not waste your time in automation selector sub also really smart got smart enough now it will help you upfront about the uh, errors like uh, if you have written any x path which is a part of x part 2.0 so select like this x path which your automation doesn't support because uh, our automation doesn't support <coughs> x part 2.0 region because none of the browsers support x part 2.0 all the like browsers 
supports uh, all the browser engine still supports only xpath 1.2 none of them supports 2.0 so whenever you will be automating your web app application you are supposed to use xpath 1.0 functions only if you will use ends with which is a 2.0 function selector server will tell you that this is an invalid xpath and ends with is the xpath 2.0 function which browser doesn't support so use xpath 1.0 function so this way selector server will help you to learn these things and will make you perfect in writing xpath and selector so you will not make any mistake and you will not lose anything so this way it will really really help you a lot if you want to use selectors hub in dark theme click here on this button you can change this to dark theme and just click click close and reopen selectors hub it will open in dark theme so you can enjoy the beautiful view of selectors hub in dark theme this is really cool and uh, here some of the very important information that here you will always I would always request you to keep ch checking these information because new tool new feature what are coming in selectors hub from my end so those all important information you will get it here here you can check the uh, version number like whatever version you are using currently that you can see it here if you want to see the change log just click on this it will take you to the change log page so whenever you want to see what all features what all new change come came in new release so that you can check it out here also here you will see that uh, new tool from me donate uh, i would request you if selector sub test case studio are helping you guys please uh, consider a small donation this will really help me to keep running this these products and keep innovating keep adding new features if you need any help please join uh, click here and join the slack channels you can ask me anything request you if selector sub is helping you please add a review here then tutorial here and all those things selector sub also support have the feature like if you want to uh, many times there will be some kind of this kind of drop down where you want to right click and copy the xpath value so you can right click and copy the xpath from right right there from the context menu so you need not to open selectors up as well sometimes if you are in hurry or if you are in such kind of situation where you are not able to inspect the element and you want to right click and copy the xpath you can copy the xpath from the context menu as well so this is also another great feature that without opening selectors up you can copy the xpath or selectors anything whatever you want from the context menu so this is great feature you just right click and copy the xpath selectors whatever you want from the context menu here if you click on the selectors of logo you will see some of the good information also if you doesn't want to see the context uh, selectors of in the context menu you can turn it off so now if you right click you will not see it here if you want to see it again back you can turn it on so this way and all the selectors of settings whatever you will do they will be saved in local so do not worry about that that uh, you will have to do those settings again and again you will not have to do that them again and again here some of the good and important links are there change log home page link and youtube tutorial link uh, telegram group please join the telegram group for all the upcoming updates and if you want to discuss anything you want to share anything also help community so and if you feel any issue or anything you any improvement you want in selector sub feature request please raise the issue here on bagasura or github this will help me and help community so yeah that's a quick tutorial yes there are n number of features in selector sub as much as you will explore you will get to know that what amazing incredible features are there in selector sub and please do check out the website selector sub website i have created free tutorial on xpass he is a selector course is there and lots of amazing contacts keep coming in selector sub test case studio so please check out them also if you haven't taken the certificate please take the certificate from here your selector sub and test case studio if you haven't tried this test case studio trust me guys this is a really incredible tool it is something sometimes much more better than selector sub as well so do check out this plugin as well from my end so this will also save a huge amount of time to write your manual test cases automatically as well as to get the steps to uh, gen regenerate the bug and all reproduce the bug as well so this is really cool and lots of amazing things lots of amazing features are there in pipeline here's a quick comparison between different expert tools so that you can check out companies which are using here are the blog posts so please check out them so this will all help you to learn more about these concepts and you can also uh, check out this uh, training definitely do check out this training this will trust me this will really really make you perfect and more advanced in writing automation and trust me that the way you are writing the automation script today when you will join training you will see the difference and just a one week training and it will 
save that much time every day for you the time which you will spend in this training so do take this training you can also check check out this recordings here a lot more great information here so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and please keep sharing selectors up let community know let your friend know about this incredible innovation if they are not aware about it and uh, you can donate here and support selectors up if you feel that this is helping in your work so that we can keep growing and keep uh, improving keep innovating such things please like the video and please share it with your friends if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel with that thank you thank you so much